Hey YouTubers, this is Killing Day 6, aka Raymond. <sighs> I'm sure you guys saw the news a couple of days ago about Kaepernick refusing to stand for the national anthem. You know, some people say that um, he had the right to do it, but, uh, but certain people say he didn't have the right to do that. <sighs> I just don't understand that. Listen, coming from a, coming from me, I have fam I have uncles. I got uh, I've got grandpas. I've got cousins who fought for wars for our country, and I represent I represent that flag very well by doing the national anthem, guys. But for him to not do that, that's that's something else. That's something else entirely. He said, "I'm doing this because I'm not going to represent a flag." who oppresses black people and people of color. I, I, understandably. I, I know what happened in most of the years, but the funny thing is, he did. He still stood for the, for the national anthem, even though back in 2014 when he had all those other killings from cops and, and everything else. It's just, why pick now? Why now? Also, guys, 20 years ago in, in Sacramento State, there was a basketball player who actually refused to stand up for the national anthem, and he got suspended for about six weeks. Or was it six? About six weeks. And it's funny how the NFL doesn't do that. But as you guys know, I just watched the news today about uh, Kaepernick. He gave out why he did it. Most of the Niners say, we stand by our teammate, but this is a game. And we cannot allow this to happen. But you know, it's funny how um, they're letting Kaepernick get away with that. There are some football teams, like the like Dallas Cowboys, for example. They wanted to wear, uh, on the back of their helmet, a, helmet, a sticker that says, Arm in Arms. The C Dallas Cowboys wanted to honor the cops who were shot and killed back in Dallas. As you know about the Dallas shooting, about that guy who killed up the five officers. And then they and then they took him down. It's funny how they don't they wouldn't allow them to do that because it's gonna it's gonna let out a controversy and everything. I I would it's just you can't you can't honor the people that that were protecting people, but you're letting uh, Kaepernick get away with with. Not standing for the national anthem. I'm sure you guys saw all the videos. I I love the 49ers, and I I like them on Facebook. But I've seen a lot of people burning the Kaepernick tr jersey, and it's just oh man, it's just it's crazy, guys. It's crazy. But um, how is it that you can't stand up for the national anthem? It's not because of, not for that. We're, we stand for the national anthem because our flag was up there, was there when we fought wars, we bled, we sacrificed, we stood up for what was right, and we did it for our country. We, that was... That's the main reason why we do that. And why do you think Olympians wave their nation's flag? Because they're representing their country. Okay, you see Jamaica. You see, uh... I just don't get it. You see Jamaica. You see Australia. You see American flag waving their flags. Russia. They're all doing it. They represent their flags. They take their flag seriously, guys. But for Kaepernick not to stand up for the national anthem, it's just, it's wrong. Look, I know where he's coming from. He, yeah, he was raised by a biracial, uh, he, he's biracial and everything else. But, I mean, look at me. I'm Mexican-American, German, and I'm part Indian. I, I don't take all that stuff seriously. Despite the fact that back in 2004... When Arnold Schwarzenegger was governor, he didn't want to have illegal immigrants not to have a driver's license. And almost at the school, a lot of people, my classmates, actually got up and actually walked out of class because of what was going on. It was like, wow. 
They actually stood up for something. They, they were about to do it, but they had to stay in school, guys, because they wanted education and not let that bother them. But they supported the idea, and so did I. It's nice, it's nice to know how racial, how racial issues are uh, how is being settled nowadays. Like I said, back in 2004, Mexicans, uh, they didn't allow, when he was governor, he didn't allow illegal immigrants to have a driver's license. So it's like, you're saying that I'm, a legal, I'm an illegal person to be, in here, be here? I was born here. And then now, in 2014, we're having uh, police brutality, Black Lives Matter things. But the one thing I wonder is that, do, do Blue Lives Matter? But here's the thing, guys. I want you guys to know that uh, they actually, on the news, they actually showed a chart about a lot of people who were killed by cops. Uh, blacks were killed, about, black, about, about 25 black people were killed by cops. But white people were killed over, over 100. Mexicans were killed over 50. And uh, what else? And mostly Chinese were killed about five times. So, I, I don't understand the situation here. You don't see white people, like, like doing this, that you're killing too many of us white people, but when it's the other way around, it gets personal. We don't get personal. Maybe, maybe you guys may think that I'm being racist here, but I'm not. This is America. America is supposed to be the land where people are created equal. It's supposed to be treated equal. We may be different, but we bleed the same color. We bleed the color red. So, in the words of Morgan Freeman, when he did the, uh, the interview with Mike Wallace, Mike Wallace actually asked him about how, ra how the race things happen. And he said, how do you think we're gonna stop racism? Morgan Freeman just looked at him and said, stop talking about it. He said, I'm gonna stop calling you a white man and you're gonna stop calling me a black man. You know me as Morgan Freeman and I know you as Mike Wallace. Just stop talking about it, because you're going to keep talking about it until you're blue in the face. It, it's not going to go away. It won't go away, guys. It depends on if you're big enough to not bring the race card up an argument. That's the thing, guys. I'm not saying, oh, you're treating me badly because I'm a Mexican. It's like, I even, I even joke about stuff like that. I said, oh, come on, man, I'm a Mexican. I'm supposed to know Spanish, but I don't because my parents don't speak it. And my dad was Mexican. My, both my, mom and dad, my mom and dad are both half white and half Mexican, and they never spoke it. My grandpas did, but they didn't teach their kids, so I was left out. I always make a joke about that. I said, you think, I always walk by saying, you think I'm a Mexican. I would know all this stuff, but I don't. <laughs> My friends were laughing, and I was laughing, as I didn't care, because that doesn't hurt my feelings. That's the truth. I don't know Spanish, and I'm a Mexican, but I'm supposed to. I under, I know, I can speak it, it's just I can't carry a conversation. I can't just talk like a full sentence, like, over and over and over again because of that. But, but that's me. I know who I am. I'm an American, I'm a Mexican, I'm German, and I'm also part Indian. Uh, Four. I forgot to put my thumb up. <laughs> but you know what, guys? That's how it is. This is America. I, I, know you might, I know you guys might be thinking, oh, quit talking like that. Is you're being racist now. It says, do you think I, you say I'm racist? Did I say I was racist? I said I'm not r being racist here. I'm be treating everybody equally. That's how it works. You can't just base, you can't just, like, base everything on just one th one color. Let me remind you, there's all colors out there in the world. Black, white, blue, everything's out there. I know there's no blue, I'm just making a point. That it doesn't matter. There's a lot of different races out there, different colors out there. But there's not just one color out there in the world. Okay, guys? That's what I'm saying. You guys may, you guys may th th give it, like this video if you want to. You can give it a thumbs down if you don't like it. But, I have the right to say this because, hey, amendments, you can do that. Freedom of speech, you know, freedom to vote, freedom to do whatever you want. All of some of the things. 
on, on the manners, that's what it is. But it's weird how you how people would try to do all that, but they do it for the wrong reasons. They do it for either to get attention or just want to prove a point. And there's no point here. There's no, really no point here. The point is that for a man to not stand up for the national anthem, for me, is disrespectful. Coming from a family that fought in wars. My grandpa fought in World War II. And let me tell you, he had nightmares. He, I, I, I remember one day that when we went to a barbecue, he was outside by himself. We were getting, getting the food out. And he was just waiting for us. We see him, I used to see him talking outside. And there was nobody out there but him. Those guys have been in wars. And let me tell you that guys that they sacrifice a lot. They see things that I don't think we were supposed to see. So, things you see in movies, that's fake. But when, my, when I showed my grandpa Saving Private Ryan, my grandpa cried his eyes out. He said that's exactly what he saw out there. Exactly what he saw. They said that's the kind of feeling that you just can't forget. It's going to stick with you for a long time. But hey, it's just me. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Ashmore gameplay. Drop a like if you enjoyed this. You can drop a dislike if you hate it. And voice your opinion. But don't be disrespectful toward me because I have the, I have the right to say what I feel I should say. Although you guys could have the same right too. But don't be disrespectful to me. Okay? I mean, I know some of you guys do disrespect me a lot. And I'll just say, yeah, this, yeah, I'm a little fat, yes. I'm exercising, okay? And yes, I have no hair, and yes, I got a bald spot. Hell, I'm getting, I'm getting older. I'm 30. A lot of you guys thought I was 40, a lot of you guys are 50. I'm 30, guys. What do you think King Link 86 means? King Link, I'm the king of Legend of Zeldas, because Legend of Zelda is my favorite franchise. 86, that's when I was born. I hope you guys remember that. Well, guys, thank you for watching, and don't forget, stay positive. And God bless America.